Each episode, Zupa and I will be opening one box of a Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We both will build a deck and play a best of three match, and if one of us is able to pull off consistent wins, that will give them the opportunity to redeem special rewards. Every following episode, we will be opening a new set in chronological release order, with new cards to upgrade our decks in preparation of facing each other again in a duel. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series. Okay, so before I get into the set overview, I want to talk about how special this set is. So first of all, it is the first GX set, meaning that, well, we're going to be introduced into a lot of uh, into a lot of GX cards, like the Elemental Heroes. So there's going to be the uh, the Cyber Dragon and stuff like that. Uh, in this area, there was a lot of uh, a lot of kind of experimentation with archetypes and stuff like that. Some of them are good, for example, the Sidra. It's not really like a full archetype at this point, but there's enough cards to, I think, class it as an archetype, at least as like a series of cards. And um, it is pretty powerful. Then there's some other archetypes which failed miserably, like the uh, Viacroids. They're kind of known as one of, one of the worst archetypes ever. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting kind of next several episodes. Um, another reason why this episode is special is because Laval is on a four game win streak. And if he wins this episode, he gets to kind of redeem one special product. Now that can be in one box of any main series set that we have opened thus far. So he cannot go into like the future sets or any future products. Or he can take any like side product like the like um, like a structure deck. It can be one um it can be like a, like a special product like a, like the tins or the uh, like legendary collections or um, maximum gold stuff like that. And uh, I don't want that, because <laughs> that means that he's guaranteed a power tool dragon when we get to that. And that will not be very good for me, because last time we did this off camera, we did not record it, we just kind of did it in, the, in, the, in our spare time. Uh, he destroyed me with Morphonics, and I don't want that to repeat. And uh, yeah, this episode is kind of big for me, I really don't want to lose this, because uh, I don't want to give him a power tool dragon as early as the first set of GX. Um, Anyways, let's get into the set overview now. Uh, for, as I said, there's the elemental heroes, the the basic four ones that are introduced in this set, and the first two fusions, which are flame wingman and thunder giant. We'll get to them later, I guess. There's wind karibo. I don't know if this card is. I mean, it's not bad. I think like one in a chaos strat maybe would be decent, but yeah. Ancient gear golem. If I pull this, I'm probably gonna play it in the uh, earth deck. Other ones. Uh, I don't know if they're really that good because for like t three thousand attack for a two tribute is decent, but two thousand for a single is not. And, and 1300 for a known tribute is not great. They all shared all of these uh, cards share the effect where your opponent cannot activate effect when they when they attack or cannot activate spell and trap cards when they when you attack with them, which is pretty decent. It gives them some amount of like battle protection in a way, or like, kind of protection when they attack. But um, they're still kind of vulnerable to stuff like uh, you know anything that doesn't activate on attack pretty much, which a lot most of our removal at this point is. But you know they cannot be stopped by mirror force by. Uh, by Sakurai's armor, stuff like that. Millennium Scorpion, I don't know if this is good enough. When this card gets going, it can be pretty difficult to out. But on it, but uh, it can it can get really big, so I don't know. It's kind of a dangerous card. I don't know if we're gonna play it. Um, Ultimate Insect is, uh, I mean, I don't I don't know what the fuck they did with, with this like level up line, but yeah. Um, Heracle Sphinx, it's a decent like tribute. I don't know, I mean, it doesn't, it's kind of outclassed by uh, Monarchs though, but uh, yeah, it kind of goes with the uh, like whole like. Uh, like, um, I don't even know what that strategy would be called. Like the rock, face down rock strategy, I don't even know. Say when this card, a mega, mega rock dragon, I don't know if it's gonna see enough play because you don't have enough rock types. But I don't know, maybe. I mean, I have like, well, both of the banish, uh, both of like the chaos rock cards or earth cards are rocks, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, other than that, I think mo monk fighter may be worth it, maybe. I'll uh, we'll have to look at that. Divi Survivor is a decent 1800 beat stick. If we play like Chaos, that's good. White Ninja. Um, when I was looking at this set earlier, like a couple, maybe like a week ago, few weeks ago, um, this technically is not a bad card against um, against Gravekeepers because a lot of the the better ones, the ones that are uh, especially like the guard, the guards, like probably one of the, my biggest kind of cards that I hate running into, uh, it would die, to, it would lose to this. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna play that. Um, there's the elemental heroes. Um, brain control. That's like probably one of the, the biggest like staples in this uh, sense. That's gonna be uh, that would be really nice to pull, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know that. There's not a ton of stuff. I don't think. Hero signal. If you ever go with heroes, this is really good. It's only a rare. 
a lot of these hero cards are kind of relevant now because they're not that good at this point in time. Maybe I believe because at this point we don't even get Miracle Fusion, so there's a lot of cards that are just kind of meh. Um, yeah, I mean this set only believe I believe has only 60 cards, so there's not a lot of like cards in general. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't I don't know if we're gonna play heroes yet because they're kind of not really that strong. Even if I pull Flaming Man and stuff. I would love to buy that, I don't think I will, but um, um, yeah, I'll see you in the pack opening, I guess. And with that, we have a fourth win under our belt. Um, let's try to keep that up. We will be opening tournament pack five. Um, just, you know, quickly get Kaiku. That's actually a very nice pickup. A second Nam. Okay. Okay, I just got two Kaikus. Uh, those were like the best tournament packs I ever opened, but uh, with that, you know, that's... Get into the Lost Millennium, I guess. Okay, so uh, I looked at the set. The previous set was uh, kind of had a, a couple of cards that I wanted to get. The the main one I would like to get is a uh, Wing Blast. But uh, if there's anything that is better in the foils, I will go for that. But um, uh, rare. Okay, that is fine. I I don't know if there's anything that is better than Wing Blast. I'll like take a look at it again, see if there's anything else that um that I want to get, but I don't think so. I could get a third Kyra on the mage, but honestly, I think Wind Blast is a lot better, especially in the long run. It is a very solid card. What does that do again? It's nothing. Um... Yeah, I think it's just gonna be Wind, wind Blast. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take Wind Blast. It's a decent card. Uh. Yeah, there was like nothing else that I wanted from the tournament pack. There's some neat cards in the foil slots, but I'm probably not gonna get them if I was to open that, so I'll just take my Wind Blast and uh, we go to the pack opening. And with that out of the way, I think it is very much time to, you know, get into our 24 packs of the Lost Millennium. Um, Not a whole lot in here I am, like, personally looking for. Um, there's like a few cards that are definitely like worth picking up, but I guess we'll talk to about those when those come up, I guess. Ooh, DD Survivor is actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. I think that's a very neat card. Played that for a long time in middle school. Um, definitely it has like a good bit of nostalgia for me. Oh, a super rare Wing Karibo. That's interesting. That's like kind of cute, I guess. Um, assuming that because that's like a very iconic anime card, but I don't think, you know, he will see much play. Oh. <laughs> Elemental hero, Flame Wingman. If Jaden sees this, uh, she's gonna have a, have a good time, you know. Especially like with Avian Claim and Abastinatrix in the same pack. Um, that's a cool pull, but I don't see myself playing heroes anytime soon. That's like the the main thing. Oh, Rash of the Dark Being as an ultra rare. That's like the big ritual boss from like the Capsule Monsters arc, but I don't think that guy is too playable in all honesty. Oh, a super rare High Recos things. What does that do? Uh, that cannot select face down monsters. That is neat, I guess. That's like maybe something we consider if we need like an additional tribute to kind of protect guards or like spies from attacks. But like in all honesty, I don't see why we would want to do that. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, this guy definitely might be a neat pickup, to be honesty. Uh, to be like quite honest with you guys. Uh, we see the Moftronic stapling here at the bottom, which is very cool. <laughs> That's like the third DD survivor, I think, but uh, with that, we are going into the last pack. Um, <sighs> oh. <laughs> An ultimate rare ancient gear beast. Can't leave the opening without another ultimate rare. Uh, what uh, what do I say now? I mean, this is like about as much as I expected from the Lost Millennium. Um, I think like brain control would have, of course, been like a really nice pull, but um, I definitely think uh, Flaming Eternity gave us a lot of nice tools to work with for like the next few episodes. Um, but we will see about that. In all honesty, we picked up some cool stuff. Maybe the DD survivors will prove neat at some point. Um, the 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 high records things are definitely something I may consider, depending on like uh, how things go and how much space I have. Um, but we'll see. With that, uh, I think I'll just add this to the collection and uh, see you guys again when we talk about our deck. Let's you know try to get that fifth win. Okay, a lost millennium. Let's go. I'm very excited about this. Uh, 
let's see. I don't see a lot yet. White Ninja is not bad. Hero signal, that's kind of cool. Ultimate rare stop, uh, spell stopping statue. The fuck does that do again? <laughs> um, okay, it negates the continuous. I mean, that's kind of not great. That doesn't come out for. Let's go! We got an Ancient Gear Golem. I'm so fucking happy about that. If I can get a second one, that would be even sicker, but honestly, yeah. I'm very happy about this. The only card other than that, this now, that I really want to get, that's sort of like the Hero Fusions, I guess, is, uh, is Brain Control. But other than that, I'm happy already. Brain Control! I am so happy right now. This is turning out really well so far. There's not that many good cards, so, um... The few cards that are actually really good uh, extend out even more. I may look into, like, the rock stuff. I may look into it. I don't know. I don't think it's that good, but I'll like I'll think about it. Cause it's different, but also we can still keep using it. Like some of the earth stuff we have, so we can kind of still do a similar strat, but like kind of better. I don't. Maybe kind of better. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I saw Clayman at all so far. Ultimate rare Rashef the Dark Being. Wait. Final ritual, ritual of the ancients. One return by this card. You want spell card from your hand. Take card from the monster from your opponents. That's not terrible. That's not bad. It's an ultimate rare as well. Here's the playman that I asked for. No, uh, no hero fusions though. It seems. What is Mitch Shield Garden again? He's just like a crappy wall, I think. Unless you can prevent the face down. He's a warrior, so it doesn't really work with the rock thing. Like to mad, like it affects so far. He does, but you spell the dark upon face down monster. I mean, he, he, eh, he's kind of fucking mediocre. Once per turn, he can negate a spell. Specifically, a spell that targets it, it when it's face down. So, he's kind of mediocre. Okay, come on. Can we get anything good in the closing? We got another Reshef. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, that was still a good opening. Mostly explosive throughout the beginning because we got the Ancient Gear Golem. And we got the uh, the brain control, so I'm very happy about that. That's really like solid pulse. Um, yes, you in the deck review, I guess. This is uh, this is gonna be something. And with that, we are back with our deck, and to absolutely no one's surprise, we are back on the Gravekeepers. This deck hasn't disappointed me yet. The monster lineup is pretty much uh, known to this point. We're playing the end of Anubis Chief as our two tribute bosses. The rest of the Gravekeepers we are rocking are a Spear Soldier, two Spy, three Guards. Have our small little warrior toolbox here with Zombira and Exiled Force. The three Mystic Tomato, the Witch of the Black Forest. Added the two copies of Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. I think if Jaden goes back on the Earth Beatdown deck, which I highly expect, um, this will give us a very neat edge because it prevents her from summoning uh, Gigantes or the Rock Spirit. Um, and also is able to rip cards out of her graveyard for further use. Uh, still playing the two Dekoichi, the extra deck thinning is just very nice. Um, and the two Magician of Faith to recycle our spells. In terms of those spells, we are playing the Power of the One-Offs you should all know and love. The Heavy Storm, the, Re the Reborn, the Lightning Vortex, the Pot of Greed, the Snatch Steel, uh, the Rodder to Search our Warriors. We are playing the three My Bodies. Uh, the Field Spell Package of Necro Valley, Mystic Plasma Zone and Terraforming is unchanged. A uh, trap lineup has seen a small change. I threw out the magic cylinder for the third Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, um, as I do think maybe maxing out on this can give us a very neat edge, um, but we will see, we will see. Uh, the side deck, I threw out the two Raigeki breaks to accommodate for a copy of Grand Mark and another Zombira in case we need another beat stick. Um, just, you know, in case we need another tribute or another beat stick. Uh, Cliff for some additional trap removal, the Swordsman against Floaters and Tsukuyomi because she can allow us to recycle our many, many powerful flips. Um, some more spot removal in spell form here if we are going second or, you know, if we need it. Otherwise, we are on Ring of Destruction, Magic Cylinder and Trap Gemma as powerful one of traps to round out the side deck. In general, GX starts off very slow. And uh, with that, I think we will keep to what has worked for us during DM and hope to seal our fifth win for some additional product. So, yeah, with all that out of the way, I think it is very much time to duel. Okay, um, this is like I'm bringing to Lost Millennium. I decided to just kind of go back to the, you know, the good old kind of Earth beatdown, I guess. And, um, yeah, hopefully this gets us some wins. Um, for m most of the deck is just kind of uh, the standard stuff. There's the Mystic Swordsman, which uh, I think is going to be good against stuff like Gravekeepers, just kind of outing the face-down ones. Um, 
Other than that, not much interesting stuff. Uh, the brain control, that's really nice. I'm really happy I got that. And outside of that, there is just not a lot to talk about. Just kind of like the, the same old, uh, same old deck. On the side, I have the Ancient Gear Golem. If I ever feel like I'm kind of, ever feel kind of confident enough to want to main this, I may go for it. But I kind of doubt it, just because um, I don't want to risk this episode. Even though I think Ancient Gear Golem is a very cool card, it is just a little bit bricky and. Um, it has protection from some removal, but I want to say like most of the removal that uh, he's going to be using at least. For example, Regeki Break, the w uh, Wind Blast, um, stuff like that. It's probably just going to get uh, immediately like removed from the field. So um, if it was maybe more like on if, de if his deck was like more heavy with stuff like um, Sakuretsu Armor, for example, Ancient Gear Golem would be pretty good. But that's not the case, sadly. So um, yeah. Um, other than that, yeah, just kind of the standard stuff. Not not, not really much to talk about. Just hoping to get a win this time. Um, the Lost Millennium, as I've already told you, is a very slow start for GX. I feel like. I mean, GX will bring a lot of change to like the dynamic of how you know the game works, because um, we get the first introduction of like archetypes as a whole. Um, cause I mean, DM I don't know if I would say that. Didn't, There's didn't like have like keepers. many of those, but like once GX kicks off, uh, archetypes start to become like the norm, I guess. I guess yeah. When like, when you uh, get a new deck, uh, it will be an archetype. Um, but the thing with GX, I feel like, is uh, the really heavy hitters are the later sets. When you start thinking about the introduction of Gladiator Beast, um, <laughs> or like Phantom Darkness, Light of Destruction, but Light Swarms and uh, yeah. Every single dark card released in the in the last set. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, we have a really huge set for next time: Cybernetic Revelation, uh, Revolution, which uh, officially ended gold format. Crap, rave. Um, because uh, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say this this episode. If 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 it wasn't enough for all the other reasons why this episode is gonna be a big one, uh, it's technically gold format. <laughs> it's it's the end of gold format, yeah. Because special summoning a twenty one hundred body and still having your normal summon kind of broke the game. <laughs> that is one way of putting it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, how do you feel about uh, your opening? Uh, I think it was decent. I think it was alright. Nothing like kind of nothing too crazy, but nothing like I you know, I can't really complain about it. There wasn't like anything. You know, there wasn't like that many insane things in this. I think yeah. long run in the long run anyway. But yeah, I think it was fine. Definitely have to agree. It's uh, you. You've opened your packs, and at the end, you're like, "Yep, I got cards. <laughs> I got cards." <laughs> But let's uh, One get whole into box this worth of rock, cards. paper, scissors to start off GX. Um, Not the best start, but it's fine. It Copium. will be a start. I'll go first. Good luck to you. Thanks, I'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This is your time. <laughs> well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> I will Just because it's my time doesn't mean I will, I'll uh, automatically win every game. Draw for and again, it did work for you last time with the prongs, so I don't know. By main. Um, uh, I think I'll just start off with a very humble set 3 and pass to Understandable. Um, main phase 1, I'll attempt to start with Pot of Greed. Oh, that is absolutely fine, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I will draw <laughs> two cards. Okay, if this goes through, this is gonna be kind of big. I'm gonna attempt to special summon Gilosaurus, is that fine? Oh, oh, that's that's a good one, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I had to, like, I, I really had to dig through, like, everything that I is, pulled ever. That is a really <laughs> interesting card, damn. Okay, so that is my, that is my, that is my nor uh, special summon. So I'm gonna attempt to tribute it for Mobius the Frost Monarch, is that okay? Oh, uh... You have a response. Ooh, I mean the 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 summon will definitely resolve, so you will probably target okay. those. Attempt two to back row. Pop, pop the pop the two back rows. Oh, that is huge. Um, I think I'll just uh, ooh, do I or do I not? That is rough. <laughs> Damn, that's a strong <laughs> start. Holy shit. That was a perfect um, start, yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, 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 um. I think I'll finish when Wind Blast, disca discarding a My Body as a Shield to stack that Mobius on top, though. Okay, so that goes so to the top yeah. of the deck. I don't have a response. And that is for some popped. second My Body. Uh, do you have th three of them? I hold, have three, or? yeah. So, okay, you still have one. Okay, I use up my normal summon. 
Mm. It do be a normal summon. Hmm. Right, I'll set one card face down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will pass. I will that was like an anime moment starts though. <laughs> that was a very Dropping strong start. I'll be damned. Um. Mobius first turn. Let's go. Yeah, I think we will set a monster. We will set another card and we will pass turn. I'll draw. I wonder what it is. We mm. we all wonder what that top card might be. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're gonna start off with a Berserk Gorilla, is that okay? Berserk Gorilla is fine, yeah. Okay. Now what could your set be? One of them is a guard and one of them is a spy, that's my guess. Um, I I'm gonna attempt Under to... the assumption that I'm playing Gravekeepers, which is already I a mean, very if you're... bold assumption. <laughs> is it really, though? It's. I mean, you could be playing something else, you could be playing, like... Dragons? <laughs> Dragons, yeah. I don't expect you to go back to that, and you could be, if, if it's anything new, it could be heroes, which I doubt, because you don't like those, and it could be ancient gears, which I also doubt, because they're not that great. True, initial release of ancient uh, ancient gears is a bit uh, rough, yeah. I mean, golem's cool, but, okay, I'm gonna attempt to Gaia Power, is that okay? Uh, Gaia Power's fine, yeah. Okay, battle phase, gor gorilla into... this one. Uh, it is indeed a guard, so you can pick your gorilla back up. Okay. Can I have my place one on my card stack? Holy shit. Um, main phase two. Pass. <coughs> I will draw for turn. Uh, stand by main. I will flip summon a magician of faith, targeting my body as a shield. Is that, uh, okay? that is fine. Take that to hand. Uh, I will tribute magician of faith for a copy of Gravekeeper's Chief. Is that okay? Oh, Chief. Wait. Um... Okay, you get to summon, then you get to summon the guards. So like, um, first question fine. is, summon's okay, is the yeah, effect Yeah, summon okay? is okay, and the effect is okay as well. I'll grab back... Uh, do we value the extra thousand here is the question. Mm -hmm. I think we do, I think we do. Um, I got a combat uh, mm -hmm. for, for a thousand. Um, thinking actually. Go ahead. Um, mm, that's fine. Uh, nineteen hundred. I got a main phase two. I will set a card and pass turn. I'll draw. Hmm. Okay, one of them has to be. It, that set is probably my body. I don't know what the other set could be. It can be uh, another wind blast. It can be a uh, regaki break. It can be even a bottom blast, or probably not. Um, those are all very reasonable assumptions. <laughs> I think, I mean, you have like, what, three of most of those cards, except Bottomless? So. Uh, yeah, Bottomless uh, would be a one-off, yeah. You're pro I mean, it could be a Solon, I guess. It's also a very possible card, yeah. I'm gonna attempt to run out a Berserk Gorilla, is that okay? A Berserk Gorilla is fine, yeah. Battle phase, swing over... what I wanna go for? Uh, if you drop Necro Valley... Chief is gonna be an issue, so I'm gonna go over Chief for I six will, minutes. On attack declaration, I will Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Oh, stack the that is fucking top. annoying. Uh, oh, that goes to the top of the deck too. Yep. Um, okay. Main phase two, do I live this? No, KW. Mm, close. Hey, that's 29. 2900, yes. So we're gonna be left with 22. If you have Necro Valley plus Normal Summon... Actually, no, you can only have... you have an empty hand, so... You're probably not gonna have that unless... You have fucking Monster Reborn face down or something. <laughs> Which I'm assuming is not the case. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna pass the turn. I will draw for turn, stand by main. Um... 
Hmm. <laughs> that Mobius one one was so big. Um. Um. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Mm. I think we go combat. Uh, we go four thousand. I'll attempt a mirror force. Uh, yeah, I will my body that. And there's the third one. Okay, I'll take one thousand from this. Uh, and nineteen from chief. I'm glad they're not fucking earth monsters. They're not getting like a boost. <laughs> uh, 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 um. That is indeed rough. Uh. <sighs> I think we passed on you. Okay, I'm gonna draw. No back row. Okay, thinking. This doesn't do a whole lot. I'm gonna normal summon the Berserk Gorilla. Understandable. Ber battle phase. Actually, wait, thinking. I'm gonna premature burial the. Uh, any premature burials? Post jump. Where burial? DB showing <laughs> what it's made of again. Seems like it. Uh, yeah, the mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, I just saw the Triple activation. activation. <laughs> 15 times. Okay, Gilosaurus, and I'm gonna yep. have to pay 800, but he's in, um, but he's 1900, so he that's is nice. 1900, yeah. Metal phase Gorilla into Chief for 600. That is going to be 600. <clears throat> okay, and Gilosaurus into the Guard for 900. That is going to be 900. I'm gonna pass. I will draw for turn. <laughs> I was like, wait, the Ghost Rose is on Earth, but it means he's kinda big. <laughs> uh, oh, that is rough. Mm. Bro, look at my life points. Talking about rough. Uh... I may have seven cars, but I'm in a tough spot, I think. I still have Mobius in hand. Um... No. No, Magalun? That, 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 that was, that was just, shuffled he, into the he deck. Got <laughs> banished to the Shadow Realms, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got banished by um, uh, Bottomless. He got Bottomless, yeah. Um, Do you want oh to remember boy. that? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Um... Yeah, I think I kind of have to do that. Um, I will Lightning Vortex. Uh, this oh. the end of Anubis. End of Anubis. You only have one, right? It was a secret. Right? I only there? have one, yeah. Okay, so that's going to kill my whole field. I don't think I have anything to protect. I'd assume not. <laughs> <laughs> and I will pass to you. From my hand. <laughs> I'm going to draw. Ooh, okay. that is rough. Okay, I feel like I should feel good about this. Like, I don't know what top deck... I mean, there's no, like... Top deck, I can see you that much, right? I think. From like everything I'm able to drop. I'm gonna normal summon giant rat and attack for yep. 19. I will take 19 here. Oh, this and better be a good one. This better be a good one. Um, I'll draw. It needs to be. Mm. Stamp by main. I think we just do that. Uh, I think we normal summon exiles. Uh huh. Tribute exile, pop rat. Okay, he has to be killed by battle, so that does nothing. Pass turn. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Okay. Ooh. What do I do here, actually? Monka W8. Is this like. like this, is this actually the play? I think it is. I'm gonna normal summon exile for <laughs> Yep. Attack for 15. That is going to be 15. Yep, Mobius. <laughs> Main phase two, I'm gonna set one card and pass. 
I don't think there's one thing that gets me out of this. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. I think we set one and pass. Grand phase, 18 rocket key break. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, Disco this to Bob. A very, very solemn, solemn judgment. Game. Feel strong, man. Um, Jesus Christ. Right, I'm gonna tribute the exiled force to normal summon Mobius. Now and attack for game. Mobius will be gone. Oh, fuck. Oh, that Mobius was so big. Mobius is Jesus a big boy. Jesus Christ. Hopefully. Oh, boy. Um, oh, wait. That should be like a thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, that is. Um, oh, that's an issue. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Um, good luck to you. Did you just throw somehow? Uh, I forgot something. I forgot something. I don't know if it Full will corn. matter. Probably not. Hopefully not. Is it? Um, Hopefully it's not something about recording, is it? Uh, it is not. No. Okay. Well, your turn. Uh, we will we will be drawing for turn. We will be going to stand by main. Um. That is interesting. I think we set one, set another one, and hope you don't open Glossaurus Mobius again. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm thinking. Do I just fire this off? Probably. Oh, this is so silly, actually. Because it might matter. But does it, though? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna normal summon... A Chiron the Mage, is that fine? Chiron the Mage... Um... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to... Fuck it, I don't know. I'm going to Chiron the Mage effect. Targeting this, is that a fine? Is that fine? Uh, discard for cost. After Goblin. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, I will... Don't chain, please. Just let me pop this, dude. I fucking discarded the... A, a draw card, come on. I think I'll chain have this and win blast. Um... Well, now it'll take me two turns to figure out what I was gonna get. Damn. I'll... Discard... Ooh, what do we discard? That's a rough decision. Um, I think we discard a Mystic Tomato and stack the Chiron. Okay. To a top tank. I'm not happy to see that. I assumed as much, yeah. <laughs> oh, I could have. I guess I could have played around it better, but that's fine. Well, I wasn't hoping for fucking wind blast. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can't really can't really optimize against it, you know? I mean, I, I, there was a play I could have done, but I was like, mm, maybe it's better if I don't, you know? And then, because I was playing again around the fucking one-off, I guess. Um, I'm gonna pass. You're, you're not gonna kill me through fucking 8,000 with Gravekeepers. Ooh, that's an interesting one. That Summons is... double spiritualist with mm. like 4k attack. <laughs> Most definitely an interesting one. I think we do that. Um, I will bring out a new card. Um, surprising, even I play new cards. <laughs> Damn. I will I normally summon... release Rift Keeper support in this set. <laughs> I will normally summon a copy of Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Wait, new card? Oh, I guess it was a rare in the it's tournament, tournament pack. pack. Rare, yeah. Um. Oh damn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think we a guard. <laughs> go to combat and punch you for eighteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, cannot banish that upstart goblin, so I will just pass turn. Okay. Wow. It's a it's Chiron the Mage. <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> what a twist! Okay. Main phase one. I guess I will just Gaia power. <laughs> And then I will normal summon the Chiron the Mage again. Yep. Battle phase, he's going to swing over the Kaiku. Uh, that will be fine. I'll take 500. Mm-hmm. And I'll pass. I will draw for turn. Stand by me. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you know this one. Pot of Greed. Yep. It do be a greedy pot. Oh, that is interesting. I don't like to hear that. Please just pass. <laughs> uh, I will replace the field spell with a Mystic Plasma Zone. Ooh. Actually playing the Mystic... Can you react for it, please? Actually playing the Mystic Plasma Zone. Uh, yeah. 
and then we will flip summon that guard, put that back into your hand. Okay, well at least it's not to the top of my deck. I will monster <sighs> bomb targeting Kaiku. That is okay. With a special Kaiku. Yeah, next turn I'll, pr I'll finally be able to see what I'll uh, um, what I was gonna get off of that upstart if I didn't discard it. We go wait, uh, fifteen twenty three. That is thirty eight. Okay, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, I think we then just go to combat for fifteen. Mm hmm. For twenty three. It boosts all darks, yep. All darks. We got a main two. If Dueling Book lets me, we set a monster and we pass the turn. Wait, you, yeah, you monster reborn. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna draw. Uh, actually, Kek, wait. Wait, that's 23. That's actually not a, the worst play ever. Holy shit, wait. There's no shot, this is the play. <laughs> I don't um, like the sound of that. <laughs> it's 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 not great. It's yeah. You say that now, you know, but at the end of the turn, I'm gonna be sitting here. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Time to get too old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna special summon Gilosaurus. Is that fine? Uh. You can special summon yeah, the uh, okay, tomato. We'll special summon this tomato then. Okay, then I'm gonna tribute to set a card and pass. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll draw the cards. Time for a main. Um, is that tribute supposed to keep you alive? Uh, hopefully. Uh, no, it depends what the fuck you have. Oh my god, am I just gonna lose to Exile Force? I will tribute Exile Force, target the face, don't show me the Sphinx. It was the Sphinx. Um, <sighs> we will swap this tomato to attack and this should be a very comfortable game. Yep. Jesus Christ, what are these games? Yikes! Um, Fucking dirt, damn. <laughs> it's a do or die situation. Good okay, luck to you. That part of greed. Good luck to you too. Who boy? Okay, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna pot of greed. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, is that's that okay? <laughs> that is going to be fine. Okay, what do we play now? I'm gonna set a monster. Let's jump. Yeah. I'm gonna set two cards. Oh, that's a lot of sets from you. Damn. I mean, Both it do be a pot of greed. I, mean, uh, I think we. Maybe storm. Oh. Set one, set another one, and pass turn. Uh, thinking. Uh, I'm going to Rygek to break that face down. I'm gonna discard a current image. That's fine. Is it my body? Okay, that's not bad. Nice, oh. continu nice continuous Raigeki break, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they need to make that. Once per turn, you can discard a card and destroy a card. Wait, that's DP, right? That's DP. <laughs> they did make it into a card. <laughs> but it's also it's a 25, but, they, but it's also a 2500 fusion that drops your opponent's monsters by like a solid amount. I think it's 200 per Destiny Hero. I want to it's a 100 or 200. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Okay, actually thinking now. What do I want to normal summon here? I probably want to do this is probably safer. I'm going to normal summon Exile Force. Is that okay? Uh, Exile Force is fine, yeah. Exile Force effect to pop your face down. Yep. That it is, is a Mystic Tomato. That's great. I'm going to flip summon a Giant Rat. Yep. I'm going to banish uh, Karen the Mage to summon the Cock Spirit. That is going to be fine, yeah. I'm going to Gaia Power. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's fine. Battle Phase. This for 22. 22 and this for 19 and 19 oh boy that yeah. is rough uh i'll draw for turn stand by me that fixes a lot of issues <laughs> um, <laughs> pot of greed uh, to heavy lightning storm. <laughs> vortex i will oh. discard a spear soldier for that what do you mean he's so good he is good yeah <laughs> Uh, do I have anything for that? I don't think I fucking do. I'm mean, yeah, they're gonna die, and I'm not even gonna get to float with my rats. Mm. I really hate that you got lightning vortex. <laughs> it's so unfair. If my opponent also has board wipes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> can I wrap that up here? I don't think I can. Okay, how much damage is this potentially? Um. 
Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna premature burial. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring back a... What do I want to take back even? I could take back Exile Force and just pop... Wait, is this game? Wait. That might be game. I think I'm miscalculating something. I'm gonna pull up the actual good old calculator. Is the good old if I do calculator. This, this, this much. Plus. This is the. 500. Oh, I know what that, that sh set is. That oh, should boy. be game. That oh, should be game. No, not like this. <laughs> no. I will attempt to exile force to summon. Is that okay? Uh, summon of exile force is fine. Show I'm me the ceasefire. The what? Show me the ceasefire. Not yet. I'm gonna normal summon berserker. Or yeah, show me the ceasefire. Do you wanna <laughs> it do it? It is a ceasefire. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is that face down? Uh, it's a Dekoichi. Nice fucking Dakoichi. See, I told you Dakoichi would lose you a game eventually. Um, yeah, but what, like, fucking... what, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Dakoichi loses the game. Force effects. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Gorilla for game. Let's go, dude. Oh, no. Holy oh, shit. That is so unfortunate. I'm just too good at the game, I don't know what I can say. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so you wanna hear, uh, as, as hear about soon, a cool card as, I pulled? As, as soon as you started calculating, I was like, okay, yeah. Face down, ceasefire. <laughs> Into a Berserk Gorilla per game. Hey, you want to hear about a cool card I pulled that I didn't end up playing because I uh, didn't want to risk throwing? Because it's probably an elemental hero, maybe? It is not an elemental hero at all. It is Ancient Gear Golem. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the side, but I was like, mm, I don't want to fucking break this. Uh, couldn't you have maybe done that for one more episode? <laughs> Throw? No. No, brick! <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh... Oh my god, dude. My disappointment is immeasurable. Oh, by the way, I just saw it. I did not pull it, but I, I got a brain control as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like, damn. Did you get anything, like, worth talking about, I guess? No. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, you got a Kaiku. That's nice, but... I got two okay. Kaikus, actually, which is, like, the cool part. Um... I think I have, like, several as well, actually. Because, like, uh, you know... I have two, yep. Some one is a rare, one is a you know. super. But otherwise, um, I think we have seen this deck a couple of times uh, up until this point. That's um, only a putting a game. There's like not really like much that changed. I think I threw out like maybe you should try a new deck. Smile. Two Night Assailants. I don't think I can entirely blame this on the deck, you know? <laughs> I, think I think you should, you, you know? You should definitely blame this on the deck, you know? I, I, I want to just play, 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 play CD, you know? We we, we, we can banish I mean, it would be fun if it resolved like once and then we don't yeah, do it again. Yeah, CD is a very fun card. <laughs> it is fun once, come on. <laughs> yeah, were you playing mech rally? So fuck you, talking Free about fun over here. CD is a very fun card, yes. <laughs> Especially when you have access to the funny bird known as uh, Garasu of Yata. Also, Mystic Plasma Zone. I feel like this kind of hurts your strat because you have a lot of the defensive guys like I, I, I like how two weeks ago you were like, when I was like, okay, I'm playing Yami for like Field Spell. You were like, play Mystic Plasma Zone. It's straight up better. And two weeks later, you're like, why are you playing Mystic Plasma Zone? When like two weeks ago, I said exactly that. Why I'm not playing Mystic Plasma Zone. <laughs> Oh, it's I for gore. <laughs> she for gore, oh no. <laughs> but I didn't forget to calculate damage for ceasefire, so fucking oh, suck my balls. <laughs> that was so unfortunate, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and I'm gonna talk in the server how you lost because you played the Koichi. Yeah, because the Koichi <laughs> was the one thing that lost me the game, and not like. See, if you play, if you, if that was a normal monster, yes, <laughs> I would not have enough for normal game. Normal monster. <laughs> 
Also, this time I decided to play the um, uh, the insect knights. We, did, we got them this time, right? Or was it last episode? Uh, it was last episode, yeah. Yeah, I, said, well, I think I didn't play them because I was like ceasefire. But this time I was like, fuck it, I'm playing ceasefire, not for burn damage. I'm playing it for flip effects and. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what are you? What for once, it mattered for like, the burn. Ceasefire for you know. I mean, yeah. That's like, like why everything... ceasefire was so good in early Yu-Gi-Oh, because you can negate like half the good monster pool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the damage was also nice. I mean, yeah, sure. But, uh, you know, yeah. but uh, I think the main the main issue with ceasefire is like negating uh, powerful generic monsters like uh, Magician of Faith, uh, mm. like Magical Merchant, sure. uh, or the Koichi um, stuff that like saw play back then. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go cry. That is very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't worry. You're gonna just pull the power tool dragon from the from the from the pack. I I would hope so. Yeah. Now that I miss out on a tin, but it'd be like that, I guess. Back to the. You have another chance to get the tin. I'm gonna throw more. No, don't worry. <laughs> you know, but but then you you just decide at the fifth time to finally you know actually play Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's like the big issue. Can you throw like five weeks in a row and not only four? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> you know, when when you commit, you commit, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, can you play, can you throw for five weeks then so I can get my, I don't know, there's nothing I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want the gold packs. No, why would I throw a smile? <laughs> so that I can get premium gold? For more Jinzo smile? <laughs> for, I don't know, Mirror Force? Wait, wasn't Mirror Force like banned? A uh, Mirror Force is time. limited for the Or if not time, limited, yeah. yeah. I think at the moment it's... No, in Ghosts it's at uh, 1. Um... I'm pretty sure it's at 1. But I... Th if not limited, if not it, uh, banned. It may, may go to 0 in like some point in the future, but currently we're playing traditional, so we don't really care. Um, yeah, we don't care, but like it's not gonna be at any above 1 for a long it's, time, so... It will not be more than one copy for the longest time. Yeah, that is definitely correct. I think Mirror Force got unlimited, or got put to 2 in like some... 2013, 14, I want to say. That sounds about right. Because, like, uh, I mean, it, even constantly... When people, when people were like, Forehead, just play Stardust. Uh, I mean, Stardust was, like, a thing when Mirror Force was at 1. The uh, main issue was, like, uh, decks didn't have, like, good amounts of comeback after, you know, such hard blowouts. Yeah. Um, but I think once you move into, I think it was Duelist Alliance, once you get, like, into actual modern Yu-Gi-Oh!, um, where decks play like multiple extenders and have like very extensive combo lines. Um, you do see um, more abilities to not get fucked by one mirror force. But yeah, I am going to uh, miss out on a power to dragon. I mean, uh, you'll have a time to get it, I'm sure. And if you don't, well, then too bad. I, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it from. Um, I would hope so. A uh, fucking um, raging battle, right? Yeah, I, I I can get it, but um, I mean, I don't I don't want to be like, oh, my pulls are only bad, but like uh, with my track record of pulling cards, I want uh, I I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> I mean, you got the chief and the the necro valley. Yeah, but I didn't expect or want to pull those. <laughs> okay, well then, don't want the the power tool dragon. It is hard to not if it is like your favorite card and your channel mascot, you know. <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah, but like just pretend to, and then maybe just, you'll get just it. pretend to. No, I cannot. I will not <laughs> deny the amount of respect I have for this card. It is amazing. Um, well then, don't fucking get it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you got like a flame wingman, <laughs> didn't just, you? I did get a flame wingman. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't get any of the fusions, so I couldn't. I couldn't I mean, play I heroes even if I wanted like, to. Only like flame wingman, and I wouldn't call like. Hero something entirely playable by constructing. Yeah, I got a place of a Vivian, Mercenatrix, two I mean, Clayman only, and three Sparkman. But... Like, place. Yeah, well, I mean, the first time we did it, I got like one Mercenatrix. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that's rough. Yeah. Uh, at least next week may hold something interesting with Cybernetic Revolution, because Cyber Dragon is a really cool card. Um, it's a super, I think, right? It is a super rare, so, you know, um, knock on wood that I may be able to get that. Um, you should say, I, I don't want that, so then you'll get a playset. I mean, I will have that playset for, I think, like, maybe a ban list or two. Because, like, I think Cyber Dragon gets hit, like, rather soon. Um, and He actually gets hit, the fuck? Yeah, Cyber Dragon gets uh, put to one really, really fast. I think it was, like, at one during 5Ds, even. 
kind of strange, not gonna lie. I mean, it's an, it's a really good card, like, uh, no question it about is, it, it is, especially yeah. like once you enter Synchro Monsters. Having that mm -hmm. easy level 5 body, you know, take a level 3 tuner, you make some of the best uh, Synchros True. that existed back then. Stardust, Red Dragon. You can also special him and then tribute for Mobius, so. That is also a thing, yeah. <laughs> That is also a thing, but yeah, I think we will see what the what the what the rest of GX has uh, in store for us. But uh, in in you know home uh, home ground uh, fashion, you take the first match of GX, I guess. Let's go. I mean, you won like most of five these when we did it the first time, so yeah, true. true. But like, I, I deserve like, my wins. I feel, like, I feel like I feel like that was due to other factors that uh, we are going to prevent. <laughs> You're, you're having a power tool dragon, yeah. We're um... going to prevent that. <laughs> <laughs> no power tool. Sad. I would Watch me one. pull a power tool and then you don't. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be like that. I pull flame wingman. You don't. You pull power tool. I don't. Probably. Hopefully. Ah, uh, very sadly. But <gasps> yeah, I think with that, do you have any closing words? Um. The Koichi is a bad card. What what else would you say? <laughs> That's about it. But yeah, with <laughs> that, I think we will thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys again next time. But until then, goodbye.